it. Good to see Meckel back out there. He was limping off the ice early on after that hit from Albers. Guelph scores! A tip in front. Guelph with some help. Puts the Blue Hens on the board. They open the scoring and lead one to nothing. I believe that hit Brett Gammer on the way in. Was it the top of the skate lace of Kovic maybe? It definitely yeah. changed direction on the way. It was definitely either Kovic or Mechel. That little collision of bodies right there glanced off of them. And you need a little luck at times and they get it right there. Fultz plays it out, Kallendike back to Fultz, cuts to the middle, and he scores! Power play goal for Fultz as he rattles that one around the cage. His third goal in the weekend series so far. That was exactly what we spoke about a couple minutes ago, just activating the flanks, and, and Kalendek did a good job of walking to the far side of the ice there to open up the near side for Fultz to come downhill and catch that in a prime scoring area, but unreal release and placement of that shot. Kalendek calms it down, Bite starts to walk in, drops it up top. They feed it, far side, scores! Here's a quick shot from Finch. the score sheet in terms of goals last night. Gets one tonight, top corner, glove side. Beautiful touch, he didn't even have to rifle it upstairs. He just, it was almost a change up, knowing the goalie was gonna be down and sliding across. If he shot it any harder, it probably would have hit him. But it was on his stick and off in what? A quarter of a second? Yeah, Beautiful release. release. Back to back where the first one's a blowout like that. You just kind of get away from what you want to do. Cox, top of the circle with room, scores! off from Ottenbright near the point just opened up a lane for Cox. You don't often get to see a defenseman walk in from the blue line all the way down inside the circle and let it rip, but I mean, Cox has been a man on a mission trying to put pucks on net tonight. A lot of them have been blocked, but you're, you're happy with the outcome of that one. Verostic back to play it. Mox, cross ice onto the tape. Clark looking to the middle. He has Feemster, gets it to him. Feemster scores! It's that lethal neutral zone speed we were talking about from Liberty, but a great touch underneath the triangle uh, between the Stick and skates there by Joe Clark to feed that to Feemster and a nice finish upstairs. Back to back goals for Sam Feemster. Bite with room. Glove save made, bodies colliding. They wave it off, now they call it a goal. a definite collision right in front of Iglesias. He was made contact with as well. Sidoriak doing the lumberjack on Olsen. It goes off his glove. Almost looks like Sidoriak got a piece of his glove as that puck was coming in. Great job by Liberty attacking with speed, getting Delaware to overcommit on the back check down low, allowing Bite to walk in downhill so far to take that shot. Face off one. Players hold their position and that will do it. Liberty, a 5-1 victory. Again, having now won two games in a row it with a record of three and four on the year. Yeah, nice to get, see them get back in the win column at the D1 level and, and really showcase what they have offensively. And obviously a great weekend by Verostic, only allowing one through two games. And a lot of them were 
better quality chances than you would have thought going into this weekend. Yeah, he definitely made some difficult saves on the weekend, really held his guys in it, gave them an opportunity to get their legs going during those little ebbs and flows of the game. Well, for Pat Strawn, Andy Corey, and Tyler Hill, Christian Garland, I'm Rep McGibbon saying so long from Lynchburg, Virginia. The Flames win by a score of 5-1. to one. All games airing on the ESPN Network are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.